Hey everybody, it's Blue Soda, and welcome back to New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. And now, we get to continue through Soda Jungle since we're nearly at the end. And then move on to the next world. It feels like this world has taken a while. But starting off with Seesaw Bridge. It's a bridge that it's also a seesaw, but or, but or is it a seesaw that's actually a bridge, or is it? I don't know. It's probably just a seesaw that's actually a bridge. That's probably my best guess. Also, that's not really a seesaw if it's moving up and down like that, but also attached to the wall like that. I don't know. I, I'm just complaining at this point. Also, this star power isn't going to help me a ton if I can't move at full speed. But anyway, oh hey, another one. But I also need to go back through here and go down the pipe. I love when you can chain star powers together. Also, this is interesting. Oh, this is so interesting, you know? <laughs> this is so interesting. I don't know how I'm still alive. What just happened? Oh. How am I still alive? I was wall jumping for my life and it somehow worked out. Also, this is just a coin block, right? Yeah, so that's for stringing the star powers along even further. Now, I want this, so let me drop that in there, like that. Well, so you can just, like, walk on the edges of this. So I can hit that from here. Get a one-up. I still don't know how I'm alive right now. Uh, this is not a great place to be. But I want... I kind of want whatever's in that block, but I don't feel like I can get that without getting into trouble. Oh, the... the... Ah, uh, no, grab, grab coin. Also, I didn't realize that shells could actually move, like, skid along the water. Or the, the, what's it called? Oh, this isn't helpful. I can't get rid of you. Also, that's probably for another star power. If you won't go fast enough. I didn't realize that the, yeah, I said already. Star power? Nope, one up. Cool. Okay, just go carefully. I feel like... Well, I can't go down there anyway. <laughs> Not anymore. Can't go down there. There's a lot of coin blocks here, so I guess it really is set up for you to have a star power. That's weird. Oh, 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 this is not gonna end well. Oh, especially if I do that. So there's a invisible blocks all along here. Oh. But you also need to get to the other end before the time runs out. Oh, but you can also need to make sure that the platforms are there so you can actually get to the star coin. It's all good, it's all good, it's so, so good, I'm fine. I'm so fine right now. I don't know what's happening in this level right now. It all started off with madness in getting the other star coin. Oh! made it so far without dying in weird places, it's, uh, it's I'm so sad. Ah, uh, so sad, but hey, do I, do I have some mushrooms I just got so I can use? Man, it's just never, go this is never gonna end, is it? Seesaw Bridge. Let's try this again, and this time trying not to die. Because obviously I was trying to die before. Fire the ice flower, I'll take it. Nothing up there. Take those out. And now I need to get this again. But I can probably be a bit slower in this time so I can make sure I have more path. You know what, that's perfect. I can just run. Ooh, I can just run across some of those. <laughs> Is as long as I have the speed built up first. Oh, okay. Everything's fine. I just need to stay alive and get to the end. Just go slow and carefully to the end. Also, the way that these platforms are moving, it looks so strange, but also so satisfying. Oh, don't fall down. Don't fall down. Don't fall down. I don't know how you could get a star power to last this long. I'm still alive, again. 
What happened to that level? <laughs> Everything happened, apparently. But I'm alive, and I did it, and I have all three star coins, and I don't think there's any secret exit there. So we are good. I also need to go to the other level first before we go to the castle. Wiggler Stampede. I say spell Stampede. Interesting. I feel like I haven't seen Stampede ever written out before. Which seems a little bit strange. But also, I want to go up here. You can bounce off with the Wrigglers. And these are also giant Wrigglers, so... You know. It's just a giant Wriggler. You can't make them angry, I don't think, which is good for us. But we can bounce quite high off of them. And I need the star coin over here. You also have to be careful of momentum when you're bouncing off of this, because you will actually keep your momentum going for some reason. Oh hey, I want that. Let's go up this. Into the secret area! Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. I see interesting things. I see. This is an interesting area. There are many vine blocks. But also there's a stack one up here, so you probably don't want to miss that. It's sneaky. Also, if we want to leave, we have to fall to the edge. Which doesn't seem like a normal thing to do, but it, it is, so... Okay, I need the button. I like this combination of things. Also, I need... that. Okay. We can change path a little bit here. Not really changing path, but you know. Oh, we can't go on the, on, on, on the regular when it goes into the... into the group. By group, I mean... What's it? The poison. The poison. The poison. The poison. You know? The poison. I'm on... a journey. And I should probably not do that right now. Oh hey, the Wriggler's here. It's convenient of it to catch up with me at this point in time. Also, I can go up here apparently, which is cool. And that's the end of the level. That worked out a lot smoother than the previous level for some reason. Some levels are just really... they just have a lot more happen in them for some reason. And now we're up to the end castle of this world. In Iggy's Volcanic Castle. That's a good sign. But also, why would it be for... for is it lava or is it... I guess it could be lava. Oh, it is lava. But I also... It could have... They could have done poison and it would be fine. But I guess maybe they don't have... An option for the... The waves in poison. Didn't design something for it or something. I don't know. Maybe they did. Not here, at least. Anyway, if you touch the lava, you die instantly. <laughs> just like the poison. But also, that's just rude that that touched my toe and I died. But hey, I mean, it means I get to use a power-up. I'm gonna keep using this excuse every single time. Also, I don't know if star power is gonna help me if I fall into lava, but I'm gonna use it up anyway. Here we go! Star power means I get to run at full speed, right? Wow, this is really helpful. There's so many enemies that I can take out with this. So, so many enemies that I can take out with my star power. Also, there are two item blocks here. At the very beginning. With not much to worry about other than lava, which is instant death anyway, so... Why would it matter if you got... Hit by it? Also, you don't get any points from... Bouncing off of the big dry bones. Okay, we got another item here. Also, probably don't want to be uh, probably want to be careful about the lava. You know that thing that's been here the whole level. You, you probably want to be careful about it. Okay, up the pipe. Secrets, secrets, good secrets. Also, interesting, very interesting. I can't go down that pipe. I need to go 
through the other pipe. Which I guess I can do if I either bounce off of this or just freeze it and use it as a platform. Which I think is going to be better for me. Ah, uh, but anyway, let's activate that. Get the star coin. And get down the pipe. Everything is under control. Also, is that a potaboo? It is potaboo. It's interesting that it's jumping out of the lava with... With... With the waves right there. Also, I see that pipe down there that I want. I want the pipe. Just need to be careful, and I can also slide along the wall to be extra careful, so I can fall slower. Okay, this seems not that bad. But that worked out well. I was very concerned that they were going to move in just such a way that I was just going to die. But they didn't, and I'm good. And where's the power-up? Right there. It's nice that they put it against the wall and not just out in the open. Because I can also see that happening. But here we go. Also, it's a shame that they waste so much time in this area here. Because you have to go up the stairs and through the cannon and there's... Time is still counting down until you get to the cannon. But it's time to take out Iggy. Who has pipes. And lava. There he goes onto the ceiling. You need to be careful of him in more ways than one. You can see him throw out magic, and one of those magics comes to life, and we need to dodge that. We also need him to fall down so we can jump onto him before he goes in the pipe. No! Go over here. Also, Dodge's shell. I believe he also goes onto the ceiling after going, getting out of shell, maybe. Gotcha. So he doesn't go on the ceiling with the shell. I thought he did. I don't know why I thought he did, but he doesn't. By the looks of it. He also stops in the middle, which is a little bit weird here. Nope, there he goes. Hoi, got rid of you. Thank you. I thought it was going to go back on the ceiling again, but he was very nice. He was so nice of him to not go back on the ceiling because it means I can actually hit him. You know, one thing that I can't do something about. So nice that you didn't do that. But there we go, that's World 5 complete. You got all the star coins in Soda Jungle. That's gonna mean something good, right? Let's save. And let's go to the next world, which also leads from... I think... Uh, worlds 3 and 4. So the snow and the beach. Worlds, sparkling waters and other one, like Frosted gla Glacier. I remembered. I remembered. Which is actually cool because I really like this one because it has this platform that we've seen before in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I just think that's a really cool way to get around the overworld. Also, hello. How does this thing turn in mid-air? I have questions. Some of these paths are really cool. This one leads from the beanstalk that we did a while ago. It's so weird how zoomed out you can get into the world because of following the paths. Because they go so high into the sky sometimes. But there we go. There's those. And now, we can go into this place. Rock Candy Mines. Starting off with Fuzzy Cliff Top. It's fuzzy time. Here we go. Fuzzies. There they are. Oh boy. And they go on the rails. And off the rails and back onto the rails. And all over the place. Also, let's bring Yoshi back, because it's been so long since we last saw Yoshi and actually used him. It feels like forever. Ah, uh, but anyway. Let's get up here. I think we can actually- wow, we can actually eat the fuzzies. I didn't- I didn't realize that Yoshi could eat fuzzies. I don't think Yoshi can- oh, Yoshi can bounce on them as well! 
Yoshi just overpowered for this. Why why is Yoshi allowed in this place? So have that to get rid of. Also, that's an ice. Like ball. Ball of ice. Oh, I could have gone down there if I used the shell, but I didn't. That's fine. Let's just keep going this way. Can I go down this pipe? No, I cannot. Ooh, be careful. Be very careful. Okay. This seems fine. Just gonna grab you. And grab you. Now there's nothing to worry about. Except for falling. Which I could, e I could easily do. But then let's grab that and that. Grab a fire flower from the, uh, the fruit. Now I see that platform, the, the area down there, and I want I want that. So let's just fall off here and use Yoshi to stay alive, and let's go down the pipe. Also, I like the background in this world. I don't know I don't know what it is, but it, I really like it. It's, it's pretty cool. Okay, being very careful now. Being very, very careful. Let's grab that star coin and let's get out of here. And very conveniently there's this path up here for us to get back through. I wish she could use his tongue up, but that'd be a bit difficult. Oh wow. I got the ice ball. Somehow. Okay. Just need to be careful here. I don't think I want to care, I even care about that. There, that was almost pretty cool. That was almost really cool. If I had frozen a lot more of those, that would have been good though. Also, we can bounce off of these. As well. So we can get to the star coin through there. That seemed a lot more dangerous than it actually was. Uh, but anyway, let's be very careful. Eat those. Eat all of these, apparently. Oh, but I see that. I want that. I kind of have to do it. Go up there. You can also jump off Yoshi if you want to survive. That was just coins, though. So you really didn't need to do that. Uh, but anyway, let's take this to the goal. Also, I like how the game has the, the the same theme in the overworld and in a lot of the later worlds. Well, a lot of different worlds. Anyway. I like having different themes, but also it's cool that they have different styles of the same song in multiple ways for different songs. Uh, but anyway, this world is a little bit different from what we've had to do so far because if we press the switch, it moves those blocks over there, but now we can't go across the blue blocks. So we have to hit both of these different switches to get around. Porky Puffer Falls. That doesn't sound healthy. Because Porky Puffers, I guess that's what this is called. I didn't think that was what that was called. I just, you know, it's a big fish. What else would it be called? Porky Puffer is this enemy again. Which will try to hit, hit you as much as possible. Uh, you can kill it though, which is usually a good thing. Ah, uh, but it's... Not as bad as I used to think. Also, I want to go up here so I can fall down and get this coin. And also be careful because the thing there, the main enemy of the level, don't jump out of the water at me, please. I was really hoping to hit you with that. So that's not an item, and that's not an item either. Give me an item, please. I want to live. Okay. Oh, get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get the things. Get the stuff. Red coins. Whee! Give it, 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 give it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If I say thank you three times, it means I'm more thankful than normal, right? Also, you've got to be joking. The timing on that respawn was the worst possible time it could have been. And now I can't go through here unless... Unless... Oh boy, just take the hit, take the hit. I was gonna take the hit, but 
I, I somehow made it that far without getting into too much trouble. Give me the power up. Go down, go down, go down, go down. Also, apparently those pull you down faster if you stay on top of those blocks. So you need to be careful of that as well. Oh, I need, need a shell. If I can manage that, which is gonna be interesting because I don't know if I can really get a shell over here. We're just gonna leave that. It's probably not that important. I'm still missing a star coin though, which I'm betting is actually up here. Oh, I can get up here. Well, then why would I go down there if I can go up here? I can't go any further this way, I don't think. Well, that's a shame. Oh, oh, hello. Give me not a one-up. Oh, my goodness. This is fine. Oh, hello. I'll take that. Secrets. Secrets in the sky, except it's not the sky, it's a cave. But this should take us down to the last star coin. Also, 64 coins. Very nice. Very, very nice. Anyway, that's the end of the level. So let's get to the flagpole. I'm assuming that this thing is going to be still here, right? No? Okay. Just a safe, sa safe flagpole. Game is being too kind to me right now. Which I think is a good thing, because sometimes it just bees does really, really bad things. <laughs> okay. We have access to these two switches over here, but we can only use one of them, depending on which way we want to go. So it's not that much help to us. But anyway, climbing, uh, grinding stone tower. <laughs> not climbing stone tower. I know, I, just, words, I, I, my, I, there are, I, I do my own words. Anyway, I think... No, we just need to go up. I thought for a second that they might have... Um... Like a loop, a screen loop wrap. But it doesn't. There's a lot of things here. To keep track of. I also want to go up here because I can see that the wall is colored in. Mini mushroom? I don't know. <laughs> I don't... I don't know. I don't know. You know I don't know. Oh, don't get me going through the pipe. What is this? Oh, this is what this is. This is so fine. Just need to start running now. Get through over here. And then let's go up the pipe. I love that you can run up walls as a uh, mini Mario or mini Toad. I'm so used to playing as Mario for some reason. I don't know how that is. I don't think it's been too long since I last played this game, but maybe it's because I'm used to saying Mario. Ooh, up. Oop, this is fine. This is so fine. This is so fine. This is so fine. Oh, hello. I don't know if I want to get red coins right now. Whew. Careful. Careful. So careful. Um... Let's head on up here, dodging the spiky things. Oh, but I need to get in that pipe as well. So let's jump over that, go down the pipe! Oh, it's so... It's so concerning going through that and not knowing if it's just going to spawn a thing in right there. But now we need to be careful with our timing here to get up to the star coin. Now, where does this pipe take me? Where, where are we going? Where is this? This is outside of the tower. This is That's where we are. Because this is the red flag. That's such a great sound <laughs> that Toad makes when he's small. But we got a, a secret exit, which actually knocks off Boom Boom for some reason, but that's just because we beat the level. And gives us a shortcut to a secret level over there. Ah, uh, but now I should probably head back and get this done properly. <laughs> I don't see the point of using a mini mushroom when I've already got a mini mushroom. I don't think I can, though, because you can't give yourself the same power-up, I don't think. 
I was so hoping that would have taken me somewhere. Sad that it doesn't. Also, it's very convenient that only the spiky things that we need to dodge can go off screen through that thing there. That's the mini mushroom. I don't want that. I'm just going to go up normally. Normally. You know, normal. That thing that I do all the time. Just need to make it to the end. Okay, we're doing good, we're doing good, we're doing good. We're doing so good, actually. Oh, I nearly touched that. Good thing I didn't. Okay, there's the end. We just need a power-up from something somewhere. Apparently it's just giving it to us for free, not even hiding it or anything. But there we go, Fire Flower, and let's go take out Boom Boom. What new power does he have today? Okay. Wings for arms! Okay. That's fine. Just need you to try and get underneath me, which is what you're doing, basically, by having wings. And then I can just take you out, just like this. Not like that, though. Not like that. Also, where are you going? Going on a journey, apparently. And I think that's actually the l the last. No. Maybe. No. I don't know. Never mind. Just don't, just don't mind me. I'm just saying things. Save, and let's go take a look at this secret level, which is like the platform that we saw to get over to this world from world uh, three or four, depending on what you want to call it, the Frosted Glacier. Also, there's a pipe there that you can go down immediately if you had a mini mushroom, which you would have if you went right here from the secret. I don't know if there's a star going down there or not, and I'm going to be real upset there if there is. Uh, but anyway, this is like a roller coaster type thing that we need to be careful of. Okay, no, there is not a star coin down there. That's just probably a regular power-up, actually. But we need to collect things as we're going along, and there is a little bit of momentum carrying across with every jump, so we need to keep that in mind. Which is actually a good thing for us, so we keep up with the platform. Now, what does this do? Makes blocks appear. I'm gonna just go take these. I think this is just for the coins. I don't even need that. Don't think that's attached to any secrets. Um, I can get this though. Star power. Now we can see everything. One up. Nice. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going? There's a star coin right there that I missed. You have to jump as soon as you get out of that tunnel area. Star power again. Thought so. Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Pwah. This is fine, this is so fine. Just need to jump before it lands into the poison. Oh, I feel like I missed another secret, but that's okay because I get another star power because I hit the block before I ran out of star power. Also, I can hit that for another star power as well. Which means we can go down here without taking damage and grab that. That's actually cool that they do that. Uh, but anyway, this should be the end. So let's take that and go. Now, do I take Peach Et into the level as mini to try and figure out the secrets? I guess I could. It means I use up the everything. Also, that's the second mid-castle already. That's interesting. Uh, change character. There we go. I don't even care about wasting power-ups. It's for the good of secrets. Thrilling spying coaster again. Those platforms in the background look like they're gonna fall over any second. 
Okay, lots of coins. Lots of coins. So many coins. Ah, uh, but also... A three-up moon! That's probably the uh, one of the only times you can see that outside of boost mode, which is only on the Wii version as far as I can remember. But also this means that we don't have a regular power-up now, but also three-up moon, which gives us three one-ups, basically. It's all in the name. <laughs> the self-explaining name that I'm explaining. Anyway, let's try and get this star coin. That's right after defeating the spikes on the ceiling, or spiny- I don't know what they're called. Also, I'm not gonna get that at this rate. Oh, don't fall off, don't fall off. I'm very floaty right now, which is not helping me. Okay. I guess I can hit that. Not that I really need to. Also, the switch doesn't go away, so you can also hit it again if it was to recharge faster than this, but nope. It's not really ch charging extremely fast. Okay. I might also try and get this star power a little bit later. Never mind, I missed it completely. Where's the platform? Whoa! Caught its tail. Okay, I need to be ready to jump. Three, two, one. No. Three, two, one. Got it. Cool, we're good. We're so good. Still alive. Oh boy. Give me the star power before the thing goes down the thing and I lose it. Oh, there it goes. Where's the platform? Ah, platform! Platform! Oh. <laughs> Oh, also I missed the thing again, I think. Unless there's nothing down there, because I think if you stay on the platform for longer, you go down into the secret. But I might just be wrong about that, and I'm just gonna leave that. At that. I mean, there's not like there's anything else to find, I don't think. So we can just go to the end. Oh, I'm down here now. And I somehow got the one up. Just with a pinky or something. Just poked it a little bit. Oh, there we go. Now head back. But that is also it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.